Okay, here we're gonna do a video on a 2018 Flagstaff Superlight, model 26 RBWS. Uh, real nice travel trailer, um, about 29 feet long and weighs about 6,000 pounds. Um, kind of a couple's coach floor plan, uh, set up to sleep six. Um, this one does have a salvage title. It had hail damage on the roof, um, but we replaced all the components that were damaged and uh, everything is good. No leaks, no soft spots, no smells. This is just a really nice camper all the way around. We'll kind of do a walk walk through and show you everything. Um, it's currently winterized, so we can't really go through the plumbing, but aside from that, we should be able to test everything. You can see it's got privacy glass on all the windows complete full fiberglass front cap, uh, fiberglass sides, aluminum frame. Um, comes with two 30 pound propane tanks, a battery. Also has a power tongue jack in the front operated by just pressing the buttons there. See large pass through storage in the front here. However, it takes two hands to open it, so bear with me a second. large storage compartment you'll see in here there is a grill and a table that mount on the outside of the camper right on the side real large storage area again privacy glass on the windows large power awning water heater aluminum wheels LED light lights up the outside here let's see if I can get below and show you the underneath it really looks like brand new fully sealed underbelly frame is in beautiful condition and this side here there's an exterior TV mount as well as propane setup for the outside gas grill cable inlets power outlets we'll walk around the outside first um, and then go to the inside Spare tire, stabilizer jacks on all four corners. I'll go on the roof here and show you that in a minute. Here's your water stations over here. Outside shower, um, potable water, fresh water hookup, tank flush, um, antifreeze inlet for winterization, um, and then also your city water connection. Has two power slide outs. One here is the main living area, and the other one up front is from the um, closet storage. Small little storage compartment on the side here. Nope, that one's locked, but that's just the other side. Front docking lights you can see. I'm going to pause it for a second and get up on the roof. Okay, we're up on the roof here. I got to be really cautious. There is some ice up here. Um, the roof is in absolutely beautiful condition. Top of the awning. It's a little wet. I'm gonna pause it again and climb back down. All right, we'll walk around to the inside. This here shows that it is solar ready, so it's pre-wired for solar. Inside of this camper is just gorgeous. All your power center to the right here. You see it has your awning controls. In fact, I'm going to put the awning in now because the wind's picking up. Probably a little tough to see, but it's rolling up. I'm just holding this awning retract switch here. Never want to have this open if the wind's over seven miles per hour or if you're going to be walking away from the trailer. Thermostat controls are here. I currently have the heat on. I'm going to turn the water heater on also so I can show you that. The water heater does run off of either gas or electric. I put it on gas mode now. 
because you don't want to run it in electric mode if there's no water in the tank which it's currently winterized so there is no water you can probably hear that running but just to show you i don't know if you can see the flame in there or not it's going strong we'll walk back inside i can feel the heat in here the furnace is blowing nicely so we'll go ahead and turn that off if we wanted to run it to air conditioning we put it to cool and then turn in our turn it to our desired air temperature and then in a minute or so we'll hear that kick on in the meantime I'll show you the layout here you can probably hear the air conditioning kicking on behind me nice large private bedroom does have a pocket door here wardrobe storage and all those cabinets the bed also lifts up for storage below it's real classy TV mount on the wall back here might be a little tough to see with the sun shadowing large two bay sink solid surface counters use the sparker right here as long as I have these all in a light position and just turn them off to shut it down refrigerator is a two-way stove or refrigerator so it works off of electricity or off of propane just press the lights there you can see it's using electricity currently you can switch to different modes and shut it off. Microwave oven above. Fuse block down below and your carbon monoxide detector next to it. This couch folds into a bed and this dinette also folds down into a bed. I'm gonna turn the air conditioning off because while well, it's 25 degrees outside, won't be needing that. Bathroom also has a nice sliding door toilet, shower, sink, and lots of pantry storage. This camper is probably in about as near of perfect condition as you can get. It's beautiful, looks beautiful, smells like new, ready to go camping. I think that'll be about it.